welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. I'm reviewing, I'm doing a slash kind of like get ready with me, um, featuring the CoverGirl Clean Oil Control Foundation. This is the one right here. Um, my shade's Ivory. If you haven't heard of Biz Agent before, they're a company that does different campaigns and will send um, out full size samples for review. And they selected me to do this campaign and I got this sample. And yeah, I like figured I would do like a review of it while I was doing a get ready with me. I've actually been using it for about three weeks, so my opinions on it now are pretty strong. Um, but you can see like how I'm like putting it on and like my ins and outs well you'll see you just have to keep watching of um, dealing with all of that and make sure you hit subscribe I'm trying to make more videos I know I haven't been posting a lot lately but I'm trying to get back on it so you know and I've got some other ones lined up for the near future so hold me to it and yeah let's just get into it so again I'm sorry about the lighting it's kind of weird in here so it's the CoverGirl Clean Oil Control in Ivory and usually before I do my makeup I put some of this um, like lip scrub from Bite on just because my lips get really like peely and this is just a good time in the day that I remember to scrub them and moisturize and then I just like leave that on while I'm doing the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna cut my hair because it's totally in the way. So, that will help. Help things out a little bit. So, my number one complaint, which is, I hate to start off with a complaint, but unfortunately, it's a big deal for me, is the packaging of this. It's like this bottleneck where it gets narrow at the top here. It makes it so hard to shake out the formula and the formula is not super thick either and it's just like seriously like really hard to get out. So I use um, like a blending brush to like dip and get it out and then I use my foundation brush to actually blend it in. I would suggest this formula I think actually would probably be um, best with a beauty blender but I can't seem to find mine like literally anywhere um, unfortunately so I've just been doing it this way but ideally I think a beauty blender would be best just because I find even with using like I'm using a Bobbi Brown number 11 that it gets kind of um, streaky almost like I don't know if you can see like close up or not if the lighting's good enough to show that it's like like if I just go like this I can see like the streaks from the brush now I don't know if I blame that on the brush or blame that on the formula for a while I was just using my hands to apply this formula because it's just so light and it just kind of like goes on like a moisturizer almost it is buildable but I just don't got time for that um, and I do prefer a more full coverage foundation it's definitely light but other than that, those are pretty much like my only um, negative comments to say about it. It is good at matting and like the oil control I find is really good. I don't sweat through it and it does stay on. So no complaints there. I do really enjoy that. The color is really, really good for me. And I used their... Um, the CoverGirl like online test, which is like this new tool to find your color, and it worked really well. I was a little bit nervous about them sending me this like full sample. I'm like, if the color's off, I'm gonna use it once, and then that's gonna be it, right? But the color was a perfect match, and I've used it now for I'd say three weeks, and I can pretty much give a full idea on what I think of it right so that's pretty much just my foundation face with it it's not super full coverage you can see I still have some redness in my cheeks usually I do like that to be fully covered but because it's also summertime I've been kind of like whatever a lightweight foundation is probably best I don't need to be like caking it on <laughs> so I've been just rolling with it and using it up and 
Yeah, um, I would suggest it if you want a nice oil control foundation. And maybe you can find a better way to apply that's not as annoying or a better way to get it out of the bottle than what I have because I just don't really enjoy the bottleneck. I wish it had a pump or just like a wider opening so it was easier to get out. Other than that though, not too bad. Really not too bad. Um, I, I would suggest it, but honestly, I don't think I'd buy it myself again, purely 100% because of the packaging. So hopefully CoverGirl will read the reviews and watch the video, who knows, where Biz Agent will pass on the info. So I don't know if you guys have heard of Biz, Biz Agent or not, comment below if you have or not. Um, they're a company that you can sign up for and like link your social accounts. And then they have campaigns every so often where they will send out full size samples for you to review and then you get a score with them based on like how much reviews and sharing you do on whatever they've sent you and then they'll pick you again in the future for more samples potentially. So it was my, I think this was my first campaign with them. I've done ones with other companies before. But this was my first one with them and it's a really good platform. It's really simple and really easy to use. And I'll link all the stuff below. It doesn't cost anything to sign up or join. It's like super simple, super easy. And like you get to try different things, right? So not too bad. I'm just gonna go with like a lighter pink color today. I don't really have any plans. I might just be like doing nothing today, so makeup might not even be necessary. Actually, that's a lie. I am going out later tonight with a friend. I just remembered. So yeah, it's good. I'll do a little makeup. Just a little simple, simple. I'm using my Style Essentials palette. It's like pinky nude colors. Um, it's an okay palette. I got it from Winners. If you're from the States, Winners is kind of like a Ross. And they have like, you know, different makeup on clearance and things like that at a discount price. So you can't really like open it up and swatch it or anything before you buy it. And it was only like $8, I think. And I really wanted a palette with pinks. So I grabbed it. It's okay. It does the job. It's not the best. But it's really good for my like everyday look because I always just go with like pink nudes. I have my Too Faced palette, which I use for every day as well, but it also has a lot of more like really shimmery. It's a holiday palette, so it has like a lot of like super shimmery, like glittery colors in there. And that's fun to play around with when I'm like in a mood. But it has more of those than like the everyday colors, so I don't use it all the time. And it's also in this big container, um, like because it came in a gift box set, and you can't detach the palette, so to, I have to like open up this big thing every time I use it, which is all right, like if I have time, you know. But for every day and stuff, this is like the best. I don't know if you guys can hear Odin or not in the background. He's eating our granola bar and going, "Mommy!" My go-to thing for like, I'd say like the last six months to a year is to been to line my water lid with uh, a nude. It just makes my eyes look way more open and bright. And it just makes me laugh because for years, for years and years and years, I always lined my water line with black. And I do, like, it does give my eyes a certain look. It does make them, like, quite, I don't know how to explain it. It doesn't necessarily make them pop because it doesn't make them look open, but it just, Gives him a certain look, but it's a little bit harsh, and I used to wear that every day. And then I do my brows with my Anastasia, just like with pencil. I don't like to go too crazy with my brows, I just literally like, there's only like a few areas in my brows that need filling in, like I don't need to do the whole thing, you know? And um, that just makes them look so much better. A lot of friends have asked me, they're like, oh, did you start penciling in your eyebrows darker? Because, um, like, when I dyed my hair darker, and I'm like, this is the same shade I was using to brow in, or to fill in my brows when I had my blonde hair. 
because my eyebrows were never blonde blonde. They've always been like this color. And uh, during the daytime, I haven't been doing blush or bronzer lately. Just because I don't like to put too much makeup on, you know? It's like, if I'm going out in the evening, then I might add it on to change my look a little bit. But there we go. And then I usually just uh, wipe off the scrub that's been sitting on my lips. And I don't put gloss or anything on until I'm actually like leaving to head out the door. And yeah, that's that's it. That's my makeup. I wish you guys could see it better because the lighting's not very not very good, but it'll do. And then my hair's like on day two today, so I'm gonna put some dry shampoo and like I have those volumizing stuff to like foof it, foof it a bit. <laughs> 